Freddy's mind is still being controlled by the mastermind of Mooney Moolah, the big thinker. While Ruff was trying to help his pal Reddy, he was followed by a mysterious flying eye, which reported to the big thinker. And a command was given. Now hear this. Now hear this. Bring the earthlings to me. At that command, Reddy responded like a robot and marched off to turn his best pal over to the big thinker. Let's see how this turns out. Freddy, put me down! What's this? Reddy's turning rough loose. What's the big idea, you zombie? And where'd you get that wacky look in your eyes? Well, perhaps we can explain. You see, when Reddy was accidentally exposed to the thinking cat, which controls the thinking of all robots, Reddy's brain was bombarded by cosmic rays. But since Reddy's peanut brain is protected by a skull three times thicker than normal, the cosmic rays bounced off like water off a duck. So the effects of the thinking cap are wearing off. Sometimes it pays to be thick-headed. Reddy, Reddy, say something stupid so I'll know it's you. What happened? Uh, did you get his license number? You got brainwashed in the thinking cap. Well, let's get out of this creepy place. Shh. We got company. I'll say they have. A Mooney Mula guard has his beady eyes on Ruff and Reddy. Quick, Reddy, make like a robot. Quick thinking, Ruff. You're on the ball. But can you fool the Mooney Mula guard again? We'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> English translation. Haven't I seen those two guys before somewhere? Ruff. We outboxied him. Steady, Reddy. Don't look now, but you're being followed by the Hocus Pocus Focus, the big thinker's private eye, and it's keeping an eye on both of you. Hey, Ruff. What? We got company again. It's the flying eye spy. Go away, you peeping Tom. Ignore it. Beat it, you aerial eyeball. Slam, scat, shoo. Get lost, yo. I'll ground this contraption. I got him! Whoa, you sneaky spy in the sky! Well, I don't know who's got who, but it looks as if the Hocus Pocus Focus is taking Ruff and Reddy straight to the mastermind of Mooney Moolah, the big thinker. Yes, once again, Ruff and Reddy are face to face with the big thinker. Honest, Your Majesty, we're not people. I'm just a dog. Listen. Whoop, whoop. Never mind that. Get me out of here. Ralph, look. He flipped his lid. What's this? The big thinker blew his top. But wait. There's something inside. Fellas, please. You gotta help me escape from Mooney Moolah. Well. Who is the little man? Is he the big thinker? We'll find out when we see the creepy creature feature, the next episode of Rough and Ready. Don't miss it. The planet of Moody Mula is controlled by the big thinker who is building an army of robots exactly like Ruff and Reddy to invade the Earth. Reddy told the big thinker he'd made a mistake. Honest, Your Majesty, we're not people. I'm just a dog. But the big thinker only blew his top. And look who was inside. A strange little man. Who is he? Let's see. Fellows, please. You gotta help me escape from Mooney Moolah. Help you escape? But you brung us here. Ain't you the big thinker? Oh, heavens, no. I'm a prisoner, like you. Hey, he speaks English, uh, like an Englishman. Yeah. Who are you? Well, it's a long story. My name is Professor Gizmo. 
I'm an inventor. In my laboratory on Mount Cucamonga, I built the first interplanetary rocket ship, the SS Gizmo. I named it after me. I wanted to be the first man named Gizmo to rocket into space. So I blasted off. And away I went. After 24 hours at the controls, I fell asleep. The SS Gizmo raced faster and faster, and when I woke up, I knew something was wrong. I looked out the window, and see, my rocket ship was being pulled toward a strange planet made of metal. It looked like aluminum, so I called it Mooney Moola. That's aluminum spelled backwards. Suddenly, a big hole opened in the metal planet, and Mooney Moola swallowed me and the SS Gizmo up. I made a rough landing. The SS Gizmo was a mess. I was captured and taken to the Big Thinker. When the Big Thinker found out I was quite a thinker myself, he had me locked inside that metal monster I was one of his slaves, a robot. Well, if you're not the big thinker, then who is? Not who, gentlemen, but what? Look, on that throne sits the real big thinker, the mechanical brain that rules Mooney Moola. Well, shocks, Prof. You ain't scared of a bowl of nuts and balls, are you? Well, I am when it's thinking. Well, how come it ain't thinking now? It's taking a nap. But when it wakes up, we're all in trouble. Gee, what are we going to do, Professor? What can we do? The big thinker is guarded by the creepy creature. Creepy creature? We wouldn't dare touch that mechanical brain. I cannot tell a lie. I did it with my little hammer. Run for your lives. It's the creepy creature. Uh-oh. I was afraid of that. Yikes! What kind of a creepy creature is the creepy creature? Well, don't miss the next episode of Rough and Ready called, what else? The Creepy Creature. On the planet Mooney Moola, Rough and Reddy were quite surprised to learn that the so-called Big Thinker was really a strange little man inside a big metal ball. Professor Gizmo is also a prisoner of the real ruler of Mooney Moola, a mechanical brain. To escape from Mooney Moola, Reddy destroyed the mechanical brain, but now the brain's bodyguard, the creepy creature, is on their trail. Who or what is the creepy creature? Here he comes now. The creepy creature in the flesh. Well, not exactly flesh, for he is all metal. Gangway! Run for your life, Ruff. And that's what he's doing, because the creepy type creature is right behind him. Help! Turn me loose! Poor Ruff. Get your creepy hooks off me, or my pal Reddy will tear you apart. Bolt by bolt. Reddy is ready for action. But Reddy's only bluffing. You can't fight a creepy creature with a water pistol. Oh, all right, Double Ugly. Drop my pal. You heard me? Drop him or I'll let you have it. Right in the kisser. Uh-oh. What's this? Ruff can't believe his eyes. The creepy creature is running away. How about that? I, I just squirted him with my water pistol. Oh, that's funny. But not very funny, because the creepy creature doesn't give up that easy. He's coming back. So Ruff takes off like a herd of birds. Hey, Ruff, stick around. And watch me blast this metal monster with my secret weapon. <laughs> Reddy's either brave or stupid. Or both. Come on. Fight like a man, you monster. 
I'll cool this hot head off. Take that. And that. And that. And that. And, uh, just clowning around. Just funning. <laughs> What's the matter, friend? Can't you take a joke? Well, evidently, the creepy creature is in no mood for bum jokes. <laughs> He takes Rupp's advice. But something's happening. What's the matter? He can't move. He squeaks like a rusty hinge. Reddy's water pistol must have rusted the creature. Oh, our troubles are over. How is luck? It's the whole Mooney Mola army! Well, it's out of the frying pan into the fire for Rough, Reddy, and the Professor. Can they escape the whole Mooney Mola army? Well, don't miss Surprise in the Skies, the next episode of Rough and Reddy. with their new friend, Professor Gizmo, tried to escape from the planet Mooney Mula, they met the creepy creature face to face. But Reddy used a secret weapon, a water pistol on the creepy creature, and this rusted the metal monster's joint, stopping him in his tracks. But look! Now the whole Mooney Mula army is after rough Reddy and Professor Gizmo. If they're lucky, they might make it to the professor's secret hideaway where he has been rebuilding the wrecked SS Gizmo into a new rocket ship, the SS Gizmo II. Well, they made it to the rocket ship safe and sound, but they haven't a second to lose, for a million Mooney Mula men are closing in on the visitors from Earth. Get going, Gizmo. It won't start. The fuel pump is too pooped to pump. Oh, try the thingamajigger. She whiz, Giz. Listen. It's the morning man, 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 man. Good guess, Reddy. And they're right behind you. Get going. What's wrong, Prof? We need a little push. A uh, push? Choker this time, Prof! Well, here goes nothing. That did it. Hooray! Stand by to blast off. At last, the three adventurers are ready to blast off from Mooney Mula. But since they're inside the metal planet, they do it the hard way. But at last, they're homeward bound. I will be the first man named Gizmo to make it to Mooney Mula and back. You'll be famous, Professor Gizmo. Just call me Giz. But Reddy is the real hero. Hear that, Reddy? You're a hero. Reddy, you're a... Reddy? Hey, Reddy! Reddy! Reddy? Professor, Reddy's not here. Oh, good grief. We made it boo-boo. I'll say you did. While the SS Gizmo sailed safely into space, poor Reddy never got off the ground. And he's only inches away from the Mooney Mula army. And it's a good thing we can't read Reddy's mind right now, because he probably thinks his pals are a couple of skunks. But his pals are headed back to pick him up. We'll save Reddy, or my name ain't Gizmo. Poor Reddy. His name is Mud. Professor, what's that? Oh, good grief. It's the Mooney Moola Air Force. Yes, the entire Air Force of Mooney Mula stands between them and their friend. How can they save poor Reddy now? Watch for 
crowds in the clouds, the next episode of Rough and Ready. When Ralph, Freddy, and Professor Gizmo tried to escape from Mooney Mula in their rocket ship, the motor wouldn't start. Freddy got out to push, but nobody saw him get out. Well, here goes nothing. So they blasted off without Freddy. When Ralph noticed he wasn't there, Freddy! They started back, but they met the Mooney Mula Air Force head on. Poor Freddy. He's in double trouble, and he doesn't know his friends are trying to help him. Professor, what's that? It's the Mooney Mula Air Force, and they're looking for us. Oh, if they catch us, we'll never save Reddy. We gotta do something. Right, Ruff. I'll have to use one of my super secret weapons. And before you could say Gizmo, a cloud of smoke begins to cover the SS Gizmo II until nothing is visible but a little black cloud. Gee whiz, Giz. It's getting dark. <laughs> That's my super secret smog screen. But I can't see a thing. <laughs> That's the whole idea. We can't see out. They can't see in. So, the Mooney Mula Air Force flies right by. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, uh, planet, the Mooney Mula men are hot on Reddy's heels. The heels. But the Mooney Mula men don't know when Reddy's scared, it's go, man, go. Our speedy hero ducks into the nearest building and closes the door behind him. But that's not opportunity knocking. It's the metal man of Mooney Mula. Uh-oh. Flying Mooney Mula men, taken off like a herd of birds. If you can't beat them, join them. So, after they've gone, Reddy gives the big beanie a twirl. And away he goes into the wild blue yonder. Meanwhile, Reddy's pals have sneaked past the main Mooney Mula Air Force. Professor, look! One of the Mooney Mula Airmen! He's coming this way! It looks like I'm gonna have to blast this one. To save his pals, Professor Gizmo pulls a switch. The nose of his rocket ship opens up and out uh -huh. drops his big gun. Oh, gee whiz, Giz. What are you gonna do? First, I'm gonna draw a bead on his beady little eyes. Then, I'll just knock the prop off that Mooney Moola man. Professor, that's no Mooney Moola man. It's Reddy! Uh, don't, don't shoot, fellas. It's me, Reddy. Don't shoot. Too late. Reddy was mistaken for a Mooney Moola man and shot down. Maybe he'll be lucky and land on his head. Don't miss. Ready's Rocket Rescue, the next episode of Rough and Ready. Russ and Professor Gizmo were trying to rescue Reddy, who was about to be caught by the Mooney Moola men, when he ducked into a strange building. Inside, he saw the Mooney Moola Air Force taking off. Reddy tries one of the copter caps and takes off, too. But when Professor Gizmo sees a lone flyer approaching, he shoots before he realizes he's knocked the prop off Reddy's copter cap, leaving poor Reddy to fall. Good gracious, that was Reddy. Oh, gee whiz, Giz, you knocked his prop off. There goes my favorite friend. Poor Reddy. There's only one thing to do. Stand by for a dizzy dive. And Professor Giz, the rocket whiz, makes a desperate dive. Red is dead ahead. Well, what's that thing, Professor? It's another one of my secret weapons. Watch this, Ruff. It 
it's lucky the professor has a bag of tricks, because Reddy's fallen like a bag of bricks. Ready? Aim. Fire! <laughs> Bullseye. Good shot. What? Help! I've been shot! Stabbed! Harpoon! Professor! We got him! Not bad shooting. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Put me down, you clown! Now, I'll reel him in. Get this thing off of me. I'm getting a headache. Oh, gee, Reddy, what an attitude. Where's your gratitude? First, you leave me on Mooney Mula. Next, you knock my prop off. Then, you pop me with a plunger. What happens to me shouldn't happen to a dog. Steady, Reddy. You haven't seen anything yet. Here comes the Mooney Mula Air Force. But Professor Gizmo sees them just in time. And one good turn deserves another. Get going, Giz. They're gaining on us. Oh, it looks like we're surrounded. I'll have to use my super secret weapon. So, the professor pushes a button, the rear of the rocket ship opens, and a small parachute drops out with a surprise package tied to it. Hey, how come those Mooney Muller fellas stopped to look at that package? Well, it says, do not open till Christmas on the box. And Mooney Muller men are nosy rascals. But little do they know that inside that box is a $5 firecracker left over from the 4th of July. You're a whiz, Gizmo. Just call me Giz. <laughs> and just call me homesick. Let's head for home. Hope you make it rough. But home is a million miles away. And right now, a mammoth meteor is falling directly across the path of the SS Gizmo II, traveling at thousands of miles per second. <laughs> Will our space-weary rocketeers make it back to Earth? Don't miss Rocket Ranger Danger, the next episode of Rough and Ready. rocket ship, manned by Ruff, Freddy, and Professor Gizmo, was escaping from Mooney Mula when it was sighted by the Mooney Mula Air Force. But Giz the Whiz pushed a button and released a surprise package. When the Mooney Mula flyboys gathered around, they got a big surprise. And as our space travelers head for Earth, they do not see the danger dead ahead. A mammoth meteor. She! Cucumbunga, here I come. Right back where I started from. Oh, when I get home, I want a triple-decker hamburger. I'll take a tomato mall. I'll take vanilla. <laughs> Sarsaparilla. Fellas, this is no time to talk about goodies. A mammoth meteor is roaring right at your rocket ship and will cross the path of the SS Gizmo any second. Look out! Well, they're still alive. But the battered SS Gizmo is plunging helplessly through space. Pull back on the brake, Reddy. I'm doing my darndest. Pull harder, Reddy. I broke the brake. Oh, good grief. Now they can't stop the rocket. But luckily, the automatic pilot is set for Earth. So, the crippled SS Gizmo heads for home the hard way. At the North Pole, a radar outpost picks up signals of an unidentified flying object. And warnings are flashed all over the world. We're falling like a lead balloon. Ladies and gentlemen, a mysterious object is approaching our Earth at a fantastic speed. Who can these visitors from outer space be? We're gonna crash! I jump, but I got weak ankles. There's Mount Cucamonga. And our boys made the headlines. UFO hits Mount Cucamonga. Spaceship believed to be from Mars.
But the crash today was not a flying saucer from Mars. And the so-called men from Mars turned out to be nothing but an ordinary dog and cat. Ordinary? Huh. And a wacky little professor. So you see, there's no such things as flying saucers. Poor, rough, Redigan gizmo. Nobody believes they've ever been to Mooney Moola. But if you're ever near the used car lot of Hard Sell Odell, you'll see the faithful SS Gizmo. For sale, slightly used rocket ship, used only by elderly Cucamonga professor, cheap. And if you're ever around Mount Cucamonga, you'll find our friend Professor Gizmo busy building the SS Gizmo III. Ably assisted by our pals Ruff and Reddy. Who knows, in the not-too-distant future, the three space Spaceketeers may again be exploring the mysteries of space. I hope we can all go along with Gizmo and Ruff and Reddy.